Let's talk about the good, bad, and the ugly of writing meetings. So yeah. how does a writer personally contribute to the success or failure of a pitch meeting? Or maybe it's not really within their control, but they feel they've contributed to it. Um, you, well, you do contribute to it. And, um, and it, 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 it's really grossly unfair to, having been on the other side of the desk, having been in studio executive, it's, 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 everyone has pitch nightmare stories and they're, they're true, but it's really unfair to uh, development people and studio executives to assume that everyone in those meetings is there to make, basically make your life miserable and say no to you. It's not true. Uh, and, and, what, and how you contribute to it as a writer, you come in with an idea that you've actually thought through and that you have some passion for and that, and that, and, and, and that also you need to be willing to listen. It's a conversation and, and uh, the control you have of the conversation is you're the one coming in with the idea. You're the, you're the one coming in and saying, hey, I think this would be a great movie, this would be a great television show, whatever, and you should have thought it through, and you, sh you should have prepared well enough to, to, when they say, well, why do you think it's such a great idea, to be able to answer the questions, and you should know enough about your story that, 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 that you can do it justice in the room. But then, having sat as an executive, I've also been, in those meetings where you say to someone, yeah, I get it, but, and they immediately, what but? There is no but. This is the story. You have nothing to say to me. And, and a defensiveness goes up. And that's a huge mistake. You don't, don't go to the meeting. Just write the stupid script. Uh, it's a conversation and it's a dialogue and don't assume that you know more than the person in the room who you're speaking to. Have it as a conversation and be strong and know when you need to dig in your heels and know that, that, there are, there, there, that if people are changing your story in the room so much that you don't even recognize it anymore, which could happen, that you need to say no and, and say thank you for the meeting and leave. But engage in the conversation, have a little bit of Effing humility, for God's sakes! You know, you you you're, you've been invited into the room to tell someone a story. You, you, don't 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 assume that they that they don't have a thought in their head. And there are so many stories, and again, a lot of them are true. And I could tell you nightmare stories about pitches. We could stay here all night, and I could tell you those stories. But it's but I could also tell you great stories with great development people. Uh, who, who have, who have uh, uh, um, given me enough rope to hang myself, then said, but what if this happened or that happened? And then they've given me a better idea and a better take. It's a dialogue, it's a conversation, and it's part, of the, it's part of the business. And I hate to call it a game, but I will for a moment. It's part of the game. But if you just can't stand the idea of going in and telling a story and someone's gonna try to change it, uh, or, or have an idea, write the script. Don't be a, a pitch monkey, be a screenwriter. So then how does a screenwriter keep their side of the street clean? So whatever happens on the other side of that desk, whether the person's kind with their suggestions or not, how do they keep their own integrity and, and, and poise and all of that? By having integrity. You, you, and, 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 and knowing that you've, you're going in with something uh, uh, that, that you believe in and that you're excited about. And so if they completely don't get it or say stuff that you think has nothing to do with what you've just pitched with them, you know within yourself that the story you went in to tell is the story that you want to tell and you really believe it could be a movie and you can really be excited about it. Integrity, integrity is an inside job. And if, you, if you're looking to, to have your, your integrity brought to you by Hollywood, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> no? Okay, no, no. Right, no. It, it's, 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 it's an inside job. And I, if I go in to pitch a story, 
I, I, I don't do it unless I believe in it. And, and, and I may be wrong, I may be wildly wrong, uh, um, but I, I won't leave going, well, you know what, I thought I'd put that one over on them, but they didn't, you know, I, that, 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 you know they, but they didn't get it, but oh well. I mean, I'll go, I told the best story I could. And then you let it go. You just let it go. It's a good meeting, it's a bad meeting, but you did your best. And that's an inside job. And it's a learned experience too. And you will come out of meetings wondering who you are and, and what you're gonna be when you grow up. I still have meetings like that, but, but most of the time I come away feeling good. Yeah, that was my next question. Yeah. How do you, because how it sounds like you just have to go through it have a, a few where you're like basically in the fetal position when you go home, and then it's less so. You're just on the couch, and then yeah. the next yeah. time you yeah. just take a walk around the block. Yeah, and I, I, I don't end up in the fetal position much anymore. Because uh, um, I, I, I believe in what I do. Doesn't mean it, it doesn't mean anyone else has to believe in it, but I believe in it. But it sounds like it was, it's a learned thing and that there's no, there's no magic answer. No. And, and no, there, there's no, there's no magic answer. And again, it's one of those things that I've seen people get crushed yeah. in these meetings, crushed where they can't come back again. And that's, again, that thing about having an overdeveloped sense of perfection <laughs> or perfectionism, to say it more simply, that will, will be your worst enemy. You had a bad meeting. I, I, I was in a, th th there was, there was this, this time uh, where everything was supposed to be based on Joseph Campbell. Remember those days when everything you had to go in, yeah. you know, and, and, and that was what you were supposed to, that was what you were, <laughs> you were always, if you were going to pitch, you were, you were going to, you, you were, you were going to, you were going to pitch something that, and Joseph Campbell was going to end up in the sentence. <laughs> and I was going in with a producer who said, now remember to get the Joseph Campbell moments in there. And I was pitching, I was about three minutes into it, and the guy across the desk said, oh, Jesus Christ, can we get over the Joseph Campbell stuff? Can you just <laughs> tell me the story? And the meeting died a horrible death. And I should never have done it. I should have just said, here's the story. And if you see Joseph Campbell in it, good for you. But, but uh, th those are those things. Don't, don't trick yourself. Just go in and tell the best story that you can.